Welcome to the Tom Green College Football Preview. And this week we have Cole, once again. <laughs> this week he is actually able to join us as the last two weeks I put the NFL, put the NFL in a little too late for his work. But this time I made sure. This, this, um, uh, originally Adam and I were going to film this show in Ann Arbor. But oh, unfortunately really? Adam... Well, fortunately for him, Adam found two jobs, and now he's working just about every day. So good for him. And on the political side of that, that's for a different show. But anyway. Amino <laughs> like Obamacare. Anyway. Um, so this week in college football, or last week, I should say, one of the undefeateds lost, and that was the Sikkim got sick. Baylor Bears. Yeah, that one I was truly surprised about that one. I thought Baylor was going to at least make it a little, it would be a close game, I thought. But Baylor got stomped by Oklahoma State. I was, mm -hmm. I was downstairs watching that game my mom did. I was like, oh my god, this is, I couldn't even watch the game. I got to third quarter, I turned it off because it was so bad. <laughs> like, I, after, for a four, team that beat Oklahoma and pretty much beat them up pretty good, mm -hmm. they gave me this one and just, did not even want to try it, seemed like. Uh, I was just amazed yeah. how bad that game was for them. I was actually working during the majority of that game, and I came home and I saw the score, and I'm like, well, if I can get the thing out here. I was basically like, holy <laughs> <laughs> So, we're now down to three undefeateds. Believe it or not, I don't know, remember last year there were I think there were three undefeateds at this point last yes, there year. There was. So who knows what could happen? So let's go right to the let's go to some big games here. Let's go Mizzou against A and M. Well, Missouri coming this week, a very tough team, and they have been playing great all season long as they have stuff going for them. And then they're playing an AM team who I just feel like AM is not playing like they should be at this point of the season. Yeah, the the LSU game was a down was a downer for them. Oh yes, that was again. Uh, Johnny Football could not do anything done that week. Even though I still feel like he is a great player for this te team, and he is going to be I believe the top quarterback in the NFL when he gets, does get drafted out of that class. Mm -hmm. Even though people don't think that. I think he's a great talent for that team, and he has some big, big potential for him. For a team heading to Missouri, though, this this entire team for this Missouri team has been playing good right now. Franklin, their starting quarterback from Missouri, he's been having a great season for them. Uh, but in this game, I feel like Missouri has a huge advantage over them, especially since Missouri is at home as well. As I believe yes. Texas A&M um, ain't that good of a away team this season, as we've noticed. And I feel like Texas A&M, they're going to be, have to be kissed their rank and goodbye after this week because <laughs> I believe Missouri is just that good of a team, and I believe Missouri's going to take this one 31-24. Well, uh, the winner, this will decide the SEC East. If Mizzou wins this game, they will face the winner of Alabama and A&M. If they lose this game, it will be South Carolina. Uh, we all thought that... Uh, Johnny Manziel was going to be something special, and he was this year. He actually did better than last year. Unfortunately, he won't be in the Heisman rating because of how their team is. Come on, voters. Come on. Anyway, um, I also think Mizzou wins this game 28-10. Manziel only had one touchdown. Hmm. Bold prediction. Uh, Mizzou will go to the SEC title game and look for that one to be barn burner too. And let's go with uh, Florida State against Florida. Well, Florida State right now, they are playing at a top-notch level right now. Even with the allegations yeah, against Winston, Jameis Winston. Yeah, Winston having some issues right now. I believe they said they're going to try to hold that back till after the conference championship game so he doesn't have to run to worry about that while he's doing mm -hmm. it. But without even with that, they are playing uh, amazing right now. As Winston having a great doing a, having a great season right now, and his wide receiver Tom like this one Green having a great season as well. <laughs> and they're playing going to a Florida team, which man, they have 
Bell from where they've been this year, a uh, couple years. I think that pretty much sums it up right there. <laughs> is this team just has nothing going good for them right now this season. They are four and seven and will not be making a bowl game, which I can't remember the last time a bowl, Florida team ever made a bowl game. That's been a while. I feel like it's. They, they last week they lost to not Georgia, and not Georgia, not Georgia Tech, and not even Georgia State. But Georgia Southern. Ooh. Yeah, I feel forward right now. I don't know. I don't know where you guys went. It seems like you guys had such a great team. And that was it, three they're, or four years ago? Yeah, they're they basically crying. Pretty much <laughs> right now. And they, this game is going to be, I feel like, a blow, kind of, because Florida State is, I think, it's just that good of a team. Even though this is a rivalry game and this is a huge mm -hmm. game for, I believe, both teams, no matter what. Florida State's gonna run away with this one. I'm gonna say forty-two to thirteen. You know, Florida losing to Georgia Southern was probably the absolute worst thing that that Florida State fans wanted, and that's because they're now that Florida's four and seven, they're gonna treat this game like it's their bowl game. They're gonna play with a lot of heart, but I agree with you hundred percent. Florida State will still probably. Beat them and beat them good. Where where is this game at? Is this in? It's in Florida. It's in Florida. It's, it's in Swamp. Gainesville. Yeah. Well, then the game might actually be a little bit closer. But I still think Florida State wins the ball game. Nevertheless, yeah. I'm gonna say thirty-one to twenty-one. A little closer, but still Florida. I think handles them pretty easily. We'll get to the two big games of the week in segment two.